What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, what we're doing is awesome tools under 30 bucks. I've got some awesome pry bar and trim puller options coming at you, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so first up, I'd like to talk about this Dasco 3 pry bar set. Um, this is the Model 91 from Dasco. These are made in Rockford, uh, Illinois. Uh, they're made in the U.S., obviously. I just said Rockford, Illinois. Uh, they have a lifetime warranty. They're very cheap and they're very affordable. So what I like about these is that they're small, uh, very capable for what they are. So I've put a lot of force on, on the big one here. Um, and it's done pretty darn well for me. I've used the used the heck out of this one for flooring projects, um, just little all around things. So one thing I have to say about this kit is there's no real way to uh, to organize these or keep them stored in a good way. So although you know they're small pry bar, I'd really like to see something maybe strap them together. I could rubber band them together, something like that. But I choose to keep them in the plastic. Uh, the plastic case and literally just pull the pry bars in and out of them um, whenever I'm working with them. So I really, really enjoy this and for under $10, um, this is definitely a good option for anybody that's looking for a small pry bar set. Um, Coming up, I think a video in the near future might be uh, some beginner tools for apartment owners or, or apartment renters or condo owners um, of uh, small tools to get you started. If you have no idea uh, of w what you are looking at, then this might be something for you for you know just a small property to maintain stuff or otherwise ne the need to pry on stuff. So what I really like about this small pry bar is it's great for those uh, those little areas of baseboard if you're doing trim work carpentry work um, anything like that if you're needing to pull off uh, a small piece of baseboard I'll roll in a little clip here uh, where you need to get in between two pieces of casing uh, a small piece and a corner uh, these small pry bars really get in there and you're not really uh, you're not gouging drywall with with a uh, with a screwdriver you're not you know, you're using the right tool for the right job. And that's why I really like this pry bar set. And at $10, you literally just can't beat the value. Lifetime warranty, take care of you just in case you bend anything or you mess anything up. Um, heck, I've even used the large one as a scraper before. They've been pretty good. Um, they're heat treated and they're, they're tough. So I really like this set. Um, in the future, what I might do is just rubber band them together um, I've been keeping these separate, so you know I've I've been keeping this one in the toolbox and you know the the other two separate um, somewhere else. So it beats you know trying to remove uh, some baseboard or some uh, things with you know your super bar or otherwise a, a large pry bar. So. That brings me to my next point. If you're out there pulling baseboard, um, in comes the trim puller. This is actually my second one. Um, I don't know where my second one is. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd love to have both of them here right now, but I didn't prepare that for the video. I've got a new one I just bought. Um, these things are awesome. I figured I'd better have two, uh, one in my flooring box and uh, one at the house. So this is uh, a great tool to go um, right in behind the trim and you really don't have to worry about prying against the drywall that's what I love about this so I'm gonna roll in some shots here um, literally you just uh, shove it in uh, right against the baseboard and the drywall and you smack the top with a rubber mallet and it's designed to go in and it has that wedge style that will allow just the baseboard to pop off. So you're not prying against the drywall at all. You're literally just creating a little wedge uh, down in behind the trim. So this bad boy comes in right at $30 um, with tax. It's going to put you over the budget, but I think this is definitely something to uh, something to uh, definitely recommend to you. This is made by Zenith. 
Um, these are awesome. It saved me a time or two, um, especially if you're working on big, uh, older crown moldings. Uh, stuff that has real intricacies. If you're using a, a super bar or a bigger pry bar, you put a lot of pressure on the top of that uh, that thinner piece of base. So if you're a carpentry, a finish guy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anytime you're pulling trim, um, it's delicate work, uh, and especially if you're going to put the same trim back. So been in multiple homes where they have really nice oak baseboard and you don't want to be uh, screwing up that baseboard uh, and then trying to glue it back together or you know stuff that you can't find um, you know now you're out making another piece of baseboard so um, I really like the tool I really like how it works um, the fit and finish is awesome the powder coating really holds up um, this is you know hey it's made in Taiwan whatever uh, but you stop damaging your walls is is real uh, is the real keeper here. So I find this especially useful when you're dealing with uh, plaster walls. Uh, plaster walls are, are are really weak down at the behind the baseboards, um, especially in older homes. So this really comes in handy. So. Um, yeah, I think that that's, that's definitely a good option if you're looking for a trim puller, um, otherwise looking for little pry bars that do just about anything, um, th these things come in handy. So I think that this definitely should be something that's in your arsenal, and it's an awesome tool under $30, and I'm digging it. I'm doing two uh, pry bar related things this, uh, this week. Um, I don't have much else to say about them. They, they, they just work. So for $10, you can get yourself some three little pry bars that really will help you out in a jam. Um, no pun intended on that one. Uh, but this little pro bar, five and a half inch, I mean, it's so little, look at it. Um, it really comes in handy. So th these, they're really coated nicely. I really like the coating on these. They really hold up. Um, they, they've got some they've got some miles on them and you really can't even tell. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short episode of Awesome Tools Under 30 Bucks. Both of these tools get my two thumbs up and I think that they're definitely worth uh, putting your money towards, um, especially if you're in the trades doing flooring uh, and or you know just doing carpentry, things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Um, and as always, I I'm posting every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon, and I hope to see you guys around the channel. Be sure to click subscribe and ring that bell so you know exactly when I'm coming out with my next video.